Good evening, my friends. So, a big question today is can we expect a fourth stimulus check next year? Well, friends, I know that many of you are still wondering when your next stimulus payment will arrive and how much it will be worth. And so far, the government has provided billions of dollars to states to fund new monthly cash assistance payments for low income households. As of right now, eligible families are receiving an extra $500 in stimulus checks to cover their holiday expenses. So please do me a favor and make sure that you watch until the end of this video because I will be going over the latest stimulus news. Also, know that I will be giving away a $50 Walmart gift card. Every day this month, if you would like to enter these daily giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. I will be announcing a new winner in another video today. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for that video. This morning I talked with a couple folks back home in Red Oak, Iowa, and the weather is getting pretty nasty, miserable, cold, and unfortunately that means uh, folks need to be heating their homes. And what we saw not too long ago was the Democrats in full force behind President Biden pass the Inflation Reduction Act. We haven't seen a decrease in inflation, and as a matter of fact, the cost of fuel has gone up. So for folks back home to heat their homes, they're facing extraordinary costs and bills. So what we've heard is that many Americans are actually turning their heaters off. And some have said it's like living in an igloo. This is tough times for Americans. And so what we need our Democratic friends to do is wake up and see that their energy policies are hurting American families. We have turned now to countries that are dictatorships, like Venezuela, to help ease the pain here in the United States, knowing full well that we have these resources literally at our fingertips. So Democrats, please wake up. President Joe Biden, please wake up. Let's utilize American resources and ease these burdens on American families. Now, friends, the crisis opened with a debate over the American Rescue Plan, which would go on to boost household incomes by $1,400, $5,600 for a family of four, through several rounds of stimulus payments. According to Newsweek, most Americans have already received their American Rescue Plan payments in full. For those who have not, you might be able to claim your economic impact payment as a recovery rebate credit. Also, depending on where you live, you might also be eligible for stimulus money in 2022 in one form or another. States like California, Georgia, Connecticut, Florida, New York, and Tennessee have already delivered their own state stimulus payments to their residents. Some of those states might continue those programs into the new year, but not all states have agreed to the same relief plan. Some took the form of nearly universal checks. Others were specific to certain occupations, like teachers or first responders, while others were reserved for students or administered through an expansion of programs like SNAP. With the highest rate of inflation in 40 years still continuing to impact the United States, Many of our lawmakers are pushing to continue sending additional stimulus relief to lighten the burden that is endured by low-income households. Tennessee will be helping out about 24,000 children and their families with a little extra support this holiday season. According to NBC News, families participating in Tennessee's Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program will receive a one-time additional payment of $500 to help with holiday expenses from the Tennessee Department of Human Services. Families First is a state-administered, federally-funded program that provides needy Tennessee families with monthly cash deposits to recipients via electronic benefit cards 
for them to buy goods or services. The extra payment will be available through existing cards starting this month. Commissioner Clarence Carter said in a news release, We serve some of the most economically vulnerable families and children through the Families First program and recognize the challenges they're facing. This one-time boost in financial assistance is intended to help Families First participants overcome these temporary hurdles, positioning them to start the year off strong. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services site, the Office of Administration for Children and Families administers benefits to low-income families with children to help achieve self-sufficiency. The federal government currently provides about $16.5 billion in grants to U.S. states that fund monthly cash assistance payments to their eligible residents through programs like the Families First, which is in Tennessee. Friends, the key word for this video is Willow River. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Willow River and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you are subscribed to my channel. Since April, many Iowa residents have been struggling to keep with decreases in their SNAP benefits after Governor Kim Reynolds ended the state's public health proclamation for the crisis. More than 250,000 low-income residents of Iowa rely on SNAP benefits for their next meal. But when families suddenly stopped receiving the maximum allowances back in April of this year, it left millions of families wondering what to do next. In Food Bank of Iowa's 40-year history, they have seen a record number of Iowa residents seeking food assistance, serving more than 50,000 households in September alone. However, a decrease in SNAP benefits is not the only contributing factor. Higher costs at the grocery store are also increasing that need as well. So to help these low-income families, Iowa Hunger Coalition is laying out policy priorities for when lawmakers are back in Des Moines in January. They will be focusing on expanding SNAP benefits and doubling the value of SNAP dollars that are spent on fruits and vegetables. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Should governors be decreasing the SNAP benefits? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my marvelous and my dearest sweet friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Friday evening. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here every day. And I want you all to know that I sincerely appreciate every single one of you. Remember, friends, I'll be announcing a new winner in a video later today and every day this month. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for those videos. Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed Friday.